If zombies is your thing within Black Ops 6, this video is for you. I bring you everything new in regards to content coming with Season 1 Reloaded. New weapons, new augments, new absolutely everything. Today guys, I have you covered. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'm still giving away 5,000 card points on a weekly basis. To win it's as simple as this. Drop a like on this video, leave me a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. Winners will pick from the comment section and announce at the end of the week. So good luck everybody. Okay, so season one reloaded, which arrives not long at all now. I mean, by the time you watch this video, it's probably already here. But in this video, we're going to go over everything in regards to what's new and what's coming to zombies. So let's get into it, people. First things first, we have a brand new zombies map called Citadel. There's more. So this is the headline edition to season one of Reloaded within Black Ops 6. Now we have a trailer for this which you're seeing on screen now check that out while we talk about details on it so you can see what's going down here but the new map takes the requiem crew to an abandoned medieval castle in avalon and what this is this map actually picks up the story after terminus so that's pretty cool but this map comes with new weapons new types of zombies new augments and many many other things so let's get into those so firstly, we have four brand new elemental swords. These are called the Bastard Swords. Pretty badass. And you're seeing these on screen now. The first one, Caliburn, Dragon's Fire. This creates a fiery maelstrom of burning undead flesh, setting zombies alight and summoning an immense fireball. We have Durandal, Stagger the Storms, summon thunderous power from the skies. This charging a voltaic power to stun and stagger before an electrical beam serves up a severe searing. We have Baumong, Raven Shadow, cast your writing foes into the ethereal abyss, warping nearby enemies with a focused liminal tear. And then guys, you have Solus, Lion of Light. The warmth of light courses through you and sends foes screaming into darkness. Now, as far as I'm aware, these new swords, these will take up the spot of your melee weapon. So that's pretty cool. And they do look absolutely badass. Now, something you should be aware of if you do play zombies, if you complete the main quest successfully with this new zombies map, Citadel Demarts, uh, rewards include the Jackknife Operator skin for Weaver, 5000 XP and a unique calling card only available when you complete this quest before Directed Mod is released early next year. So don't hang about, get this done guys and get those exclusive rewards. I know many many people missed out on these on the previous map so yes do what you gotta do. We also guys have many, many other new features too, including a few gobble gums. So you have the power keg gobble gum, this spawns a full power. We have the time out gobble gum, temporary stops the round, giving guys a break to readjust, get their shit together, pretty cool. We have the holiday cheer gobble gum, all zombies spawn with festive gear, <laughs> pretty badass. Then guys, we actually have a mod called the light mend ammo mod, zombies drop health orbs pretty badass we then have the vulture aid perk zombies drop ammo salvage and more we have the tesla storm field upgrade shocks and damages surrounding enemies we have 18 new augments which we'll talk about in a quick second we have the hand cannon craftable weapon support and we also guys have the doppelgast new enemy which you're seeing on screen now you saw in that trailer evil Okay, so the new augments we have here, these are the Vulture Aid Major Augments first. We have the Fetid Upgrade. On death, zombies have a chance to create a gas cloud that charges your field upgrade. We have the Smell of Death. On death, zombies have a chance to create a gas cloud that conceals you while standing in it. Then we have Parting Gift. Vulture Aid Ammo Drops give you more ammo to wonder weapons. Okay, so the Vulture Aid Minor Augments here. We have Candor's Reach, Auto Pickup Loot from Farther Away. We have Carrying Luggage, Critical Kills have a chance to drop extra salvage. And Picky Eater, on death zombies have a higher chance of dropping your current equipment. Pretty cool. Then we have the Light Mend Major Augments. Antibiotic, uh, a healing glyph now damages enemies that touch it, but its lifetime is reduced. Big game, 
Light Mend can activate unelite enemies, dropping three more healing glyphs. Dual action, consuming a healing glyph will temporarily allow you to heal faster. And then we have Light Mend Minor Augments. The healing glyph's lifetime is increased, extra strength. The healing glyphs replenish more health when consumed and express remedy. Increase the range that the glyph will move to an ally. Okay, so now guys, we have the Tesla Storm major augments here. So we have Transformer. The field's damage is increased by the number of allies that are connected. Shockwave on activation, stun and damage all nearby enemies. Static discharge on activation, create a lethal surge of electricity around you. Now we have the Tesla Storm minor augments here. Power grid, increase the range of the electrical tether can connect to allies. Overclocked, your movement speed is increased during Tesla Storm and lithium charged. Increase Tesla Storm duration. Pretty badass. Now we actually move on guys to season one reloaded gameplay changes that affect zombies. Okay, so mangler spawns reduced to mid to high rounds only. Okay, good change. Cap on active manglers up to around 100. Mangler's arm cannon easier to shoot off now and special rounds will now be way shorter. Cool. Okay, so what about wonder weapons? Now it is said that we'll get two wonder weapons with this new zombies map this hasn't been confirmed we're going off leaks here that is the umbral blade and the wonder waffle dg2 so take this with a pinch of salt people there are also new weapons come with reloaded but these are obviously earned in different ways via different events that come into multiplayer as well but will be available in zombies too we have the maelstrom shotgun the amr mod 4 sniper rifle one i cannot wait for and we have the cleaver melee weapon so these are new weapons spread across both multiplayer and zombies and lastly guys we're going to talk about the jingle hells now jingle hells was an old school limited time zombies mod from black ops cold war uh, if you remember that but it makes a return in black ops 6 and it's actually affecting liberty fools liberty fools will get a christmas remake and guys we move on to some of the changes that will come with this new well this new time christmas theme to liberty fools so enemies have new names and new skins arsenal machine is now gone snowballs return uh, which can be used to freeze and kill zombies like they could before some zombies will drop presents uh, with weapons and other items special rounds where you slow down and freeze forcing you inside to take shelter pretty badass this is new by the way i do believe we then have naughty or nice power up uh, so naughty spawns plague hands for 30 seconds and nice drops you a present so yes guys as far as i'm aware that is all the details we know of so far in regards to season one reloaded and a brand new zombies map which i'm pretty sure you guys cannot wait for that should arrive in probably a day or so now uh, so yes all the details hopefully i had you covered yeah guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one